Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about how to read input from a file and write output to a file. So in Java, there are multiple ways to do read and write operations on file. Today, I'm going to show you three different ways to read from a file and two different ways to write to a file. Now, let's begin with the first method for reading files. Now, first thing first, let's create a text file in our project. So we choose file and call it text.txt and hit OK. Now let's paste in some um, dummy text. So we got five paragraphs from the lorem ipsum uh, generator. Uh, these are just dummy text and we were, we were going to be use this to uh, read and then Later on, we'll be creating a new file and uh, write all of this text into the new file. Now let's switch back to main.java and then let's start with the uh, method one. So uh, let's see. Um, this is uh, method one. Now, in method one, we're going to use the file reader class in Java uh, to read files. Uh, but before we do anything, uh, let's first define our files uh, at the top. So uh, we say file and then import the file class. And we say input file uh, equals a new file and then parentheses. Uh, and then we need to give the path to the file uh, in the parentheses. So we right click on the file and select copy path and then paste it in. Now with the input file defined, uh, let's initialize our file reader. So let's say file reader and call it fr and equals uh, no. And let's import file reader. And then let's initialize our file reader. So fr uh, equals new file reader. And then we pass it in the input file. Uh, now we have an error. Uh, that's because we need to handle the exception. So uh, let's surround it with try and catch. And we catch the file not found exception. Now we can use the read method from the file reader to read the file. The read method will read the file character by character and returns a integer representation of the current character. And it will return negative one when you reach the end of the file. So let's define an integer i to be the result of the read method. And let's use a while loop. So while and uh, i uh, equals uh, fr dot read. So while this is not equal to uh, negative one, uh, we can keep reading. Now we got another error, and let's uh, add another catch clause. Uh, this time we catch the IO exception. So for now, I'm just gonna uh, output the uh, result to the console and see if we can uh, read this file successfully. So let's do system uh, dot out uh, dot print uh, not print lane uh, and then i and we need to cast the i to uh, char. Uh, this way we can get the original text output to the console. Now after we're done with the reading uh, we need to add a finally block and inside of finally we need to close our file reader so fr dot close this gives us another error because we need to surround it with another try and catch so let's surround it with a try and catch we catch another io exception now we're done with the file reader uh, we can run this program and see if we got the output exactly like our input file. So let's run this and uh, let's expand the result. Uh, so we got lower ipsum, um, we got five paragraphs 
and it looks uh, exactly the same as our input file. So that's our method one uh, using the uh, file reader class to read files. Now let's take a look at method two. Uh, let's first comment out the method one. And um, down here, let's start with uh, method uh, two. So method two is going to use the buffered reader class. So buffered reader. So let's first define a, a buffered reader type. So uh, buffered reader and uh, buffered reader uh, equals uh, null. And then uh, let's initialize our buffered reader um, equals new buffered reader and passing in a file reader. So new uh, file reader and input file. Now, uh, just like before, we need to surround it with the try and catch. So let's surround with the try and catch. Now, instead of read the file character by character with file reader, uh, with buffer the reader, we can actually read the file line by line. So let's define a string for each line. So let's define a string and call it line. Uh, this is for uh, getting the result of uh, reading each line and we can use a while loop just like before and we do uh, line equals um, buffer reader dot uh, read line and this is not equal to null so as long as this is not null uh, we can keep reading and when it is null this means that uh, we're reaching the end of the file. Now we can uh, output the result to the console. So we do system.out.println and line. So we can use println here because we're reading line by line, uh, not uh, character by character. Now we're done with the reading. Let's close the buffer reader. So we do finally and then uh, buffered reader dot uh, close. And let's surround it with try and catch. And now we can uh, run this program and see if we got the same result as before. And there we go. Uh, we got the same five paragraph and it's exactly the same as our input file. Now let's take a look at method three. So let's first comment out the second method. And then down at the bottom, uh, let's start with a comment that says method three. And method three gonna use the scanner class in Java uh, to read input files. So let's first define a scanner class. So scanner, uh, scanner, and let's import the scanner class. And let's initialize our scanner. Uh, new uh, scanner uh, passing in the input file and we need to surround the constructor using uh, try and catch just like before so we surround it with try and catch now we can start read the file so just like before we do while and then scanner dot has next line uh, next line so we want to read this line by line. And then uh, inside of the while loop, uh, we want to output the result to the console. So we do system.out.println and then scanner uh, dot next line. So the next line method will read each line from the file and then we'll output each line to the console. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we can run the program and we should get the same result as before. So as you can see, uh, we read the file successfully from our input file. So scanner is actually the easiest uh, in terms of syntax among all of these methods. So there are some differences between these three methods, uh, and I want to talk about them a little bit in this video. 
First of all, uh, buffered reader is a wrapper class on top of uh, reader class. In our example, we use the file reader. So buffer reader will buffer the input file uh, to make the reading more efficient than just using the simple file reader class. Now, in terms of scanner, there are uh, a few differences between the scanner class and buffered reader class. First of all, uh, before reading the input file, uh, scanner will first parse the input file uh, using a white space or any uh, given regular expression. Uh, but buffered reader doesn't do parsing. So uh, buffered reader will be faster in terms of raw speed uh, since it doesn't do parsing before reading files. Another difference is, is that uh, buffered reader is synchronized method, which means that it supports uh, multi-threading, uh, which you know scanner doesn't support multi-threading, uh, which you shouldn't use in uh, multi-threaded programming. Now let's take a look at how to write to files. Um, let's first uh, comment out the uh, method three. Um, and then let's go back to our method one and uncommon the first method. Uh, so uh, reading to files, uh, we're going to use the uh, file writer class. So let's see file uh, writer. Before we can initialize our file writer, uh, we need to first create our uh, output file. So right after we create our input file, uh, let's create another file type. Uh, so uh, file, and this time is output file, and equals uh, new file. And then uh, let's close the statement, and then let's uh, copy the path of the input file, and then paste it in to our parentheses, and then change the file name to uh, output.txt. Now we have defined our output file. Uh, we can initialize the file writer to uh, point it to our output file. So let's first define the file writer, and then uh, let's import the file writer class, and then fw equals no. And down inside of our try block, um, let's uh, instantiate the fw. Uh, with our output file. So fw equals new uh, file writer and then output file. Now we can start writing to our output file. So down inside of the while loop, uh, instead of uh, a system out to the console, uh, let's comment that out. Uh, let's use the file writer class uh, to uh, write to the file. So we say fw dot uh, write, and then uh, we write i, and then cast the i to uh, chart type. Now the final step is to uh, close the file writer. So down inside of the finally block, inside of try, uh, we do fw uh, dot close. Now, if we run this, we should be able to see a new file called output.txt uh, with all the characters from our input file. So let's take a look. Um, so this is our output file, and it has the same five paragraphs from our input file. They are exactly the same. So there we go. We successfully write to our output file. There is another way to write to files. Uh, just like we have file reader and a file writer, uh, we also have buffered reader and the buffered writer. Uh, so let's first comment out the uh, method one, and then let's uncommon uh, method two. So let's take a look at how to use uh, buffered writer to write to our output file. Now let's first define our buffered writer class. So buffered writer, and then buffered uh, writer equals no. And then down inside of try block, um, let's instantiate the buffered writer, 
So buffer writer equals new uh, buffer writer. And then we pass it in a file writer. And then uh, inside of the parentheses, let's pass in our output file. Now, uh, inside of the while loop, so instead of uh, system.out, uh, we want to write to our output file. So we do uh, buffered writer dot uh, write and uh, pass in the uh, line parameter. So uh, buffer writer dot write. Now, uh, after we done writing, uh, we need to close the file writer. So let's go down to the finally block and let's do buffered writer dot close. Now let's run this program and see the output. So let's click run and let's take a look at our output.txt file. So as you can see, uh, we got the result, but it is all on one line. Uh, that's not the format that we want. Uh, so in order to fix this, um, what we need to do is we need to use the new line method from the buffered writer class. So let's uh, add a, a statement after we write each line. So we do buffered uh, writer dot new line. So this will add a new line every time we output to the output file. Now let's take a look. So that's the correct format we want from our file. And it's exactly the same as the input file. So that's it guys. That's all I want to talk about in this video. I uh, hope you guys learned something and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.